Been here before? No, the, the no. kids have. Hey, there you go. Okay, so this is supposed to be the number four rated zoo in the United States. Uh -huh. Number four, and it's just you know what, about 40 miles, 35 miles from our house. What? And this is the first time we've ever been here. So we're about to go into the Florida Zoo, the zoo at Bovard County, Florida. Okay, so we had this beautiful, lovely garden over here, at, here at the Brevard Zoo. And this is apparently the number four um, best zoo in all of America. So we have all these plants and uh, we just have to wait to get our tickets. So, wait. Wait, tell me. Here's what we see right now, and here is my little sister. That's Connor filming. And here is my nanny. All right, so we've just walked in. We're going to get uh, oriented here, and we're going to get started uh, seeing what they got to show us. Basically, uh, everything will be off of this little black here because we couldn't bring our big sticks in. They don't want anything in here that you can reach over their enclosures to photograph and that makes sense you know I wish it wasn't true but I can understand the harassment of it so you know we don't want to harass animals <laughs> so we put that stick away and I'll just use this today all right first thing we see as we come in is flamingos and if we walk out over there we see great big goldfish but we'll be over there in a few minutes We're heading to Exhibition Africa at the Bavard Zoo. This is the Meerkat Hamlet coming up. All right. And she's out there working with the meerkats. All right, here we go. There they are. Whoa, what is that? Connor, Chloe. Say cat. Yeah, it's a cat. <laughs> say cat. Meerkat. Say meerkat. Can you say that? Don't get in the way of the That's okay. Meerkat. Me All right, this right here I'm going to show you is the children's viewing cave. And so Connor's in there viewing. A little bit short for me. Go get Chloe. She's coming. She's coming. All right. What's in there, Terrence? The meerkats. See the meerkats. All right, here oh. we go. All right, we have a caretaker here working with the rhinoceros, giving it a shot of some kind while the other one feeds it and says, oh no, look, it's got a tube. Are they taking blood or what are they doing? Yeah. Yeah, but right there is the tubes, the samples and all, so. A little bit of medical attention here, huh? Isn't that awesome? That's interesting. That must not be easy at all. No. You gotta keep it from walking off and you're not gonna do anything to stop it if it wants to. That's crazy stuff right there. Huge rhinoceros. Look at the size of that thing. That's a boy. He's just sitting there taking his time, having the fun, eating. And there's the other two over there, and they're still working on that one. Trying to keep them healthy. Good jobs. Okay, right over there, we'll just point them out, is three or four giraffes, five giraffes. Right there 
big old ostrich and then a herd of some kind of deer. We'll look at the thing here in a minute. But right over here, oh, right over here is a giraffe to see. We'll walk over and look at it in just a second. It's pretty cool. Yeah, they got a long neck. Look at that neck. And look at the little tiny deer out there, the little baby deer with his mother and father. Weird. Hi, we're here to feed the giraffe. <laughs> He's all about the food. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. Isn't he though? Oh, Linda, do you see the little one? Yes, underneath. Underneath there. Yeah, I didn't see that one. Can you see close? Oh, see underneath him. the bush. No, yeah. underneath the bush. Tiny. Underneath the bush. There's so many. Oh, oh. He's digging. Just looking around. Okay, with this camera, you won't see the bees, but if you look at those two hives there, there's bees just swarming all around them. They're pollinating. What is it? Oh, the bee bees. Yeah. And then we'll look down here in the water and see the big old turtle and the big carp swimming around. Yeah. Uh huh. And then we'll just walk over here and see the black swan. Look at the black swan. And then the big fish floating underneath there. All right. Have you ever had to eat an icy all the way down because there's no straws? There's no straws in here. And when it melts it you don't like it. Yeah, and then it just makes a mess, but we don't care, do we? Why aren't there any straws? Well, because the little animals might mess with them. Because people cannot be trusted. <coughs> I'm sorry, but you know. What people? Not us. We could be trusted. That's right. Not that they trust us because they made us put our stick away. <laughs> Connor, what might happen with if the if the straws are thrown down? Um, the birds might eat them, uh -huh. not knowing what they are, and right. it could choke them. Right. <coughs> so, what's been your favorite part so far? Um, the blue parrot. Mhm. Mm I'm coughing because I ate this a little too fast. <laughs> Chloe. What's been your favorite part so far? Feeding the giraffe. Mmm. Did you see the tongue on that giraffe? Wow. It's a tongue. blue tongue. Wow, yeah. It must have been having it some icy. Purple tongue. Uh huh. Didn't think about that, did you? What, what are we going to do next? The ant's back while you didn't get rid of it. Oh. We think we're going to ride the train, right? Mm -hmm. We don't know what the schedule is. So right. If it's coming up soon, we're going to ride the train. If not, I think we'll go. It goes to all day until the park closes. Yeah, but it's just sitting there. It hadn't moved since we got here. You know, since we sat down. Um, we want to get on it. Yeah. That so basically, we're going to go to Australia if, if mm -hmm. the train's not going soon. Right. Their very own Komodo dragon. Not Chloe. <laughs> and it can come on your hair. Just hanging out, being a dragon. Let me get up here where I don't have a reflection. I got a pretty good tree. Say what? I got a pretty good tree. Yeah. Nice little Komodo dragon there. Uh huh. Uh -huh. LaFonda is the female, and the males are uh, Daryl and Pedro. Uh -huh. I want to say, I 
What do you say here, big bird? Oh, you on Sesame Street. You was yellow. She is more blue, I say. Look at him. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at the big lion. Oh, that's a kangaroo. Never mind. Oh, there's a whole herd of kangaroos, huh? You can walk in there, Terry. You no, know, you can walk around. We just keep walking and we'll go right around there. Okay. We gotta keep walking. I think yeah. we can walk through. Now, Chloe, what is that? That's a crazy little thing, isn't it, Manny? Yeah, so cool. There's another one right back here. No Chloe. Ah, beautiful. Little baby ones. And a big one back there. Oh, there, dude. How you doing? We don't see a lot of these. <laughs> this one had, or the other one? Lily, so I'm not sure where she went to. You can easily tell that she's oh she stands hanging. you can tell she's hanging low uh -huh. in the pouch area so Did you understand what she said one of them is a mommy and had the baby yeah so hopefully we'll see that pretty soon once they get oh. opening the train yard very soon just a reminder there's no food or drink allowed past this gate if you have any food or drink just make sure it's closed secure put away thank you oh, we back up. there we go you're right, welcome I got the tickets right there. Thank you. Uh -huh. All right, Connor, climb on board. There's the train right up there. We're fixing the ride. Oh, yeah. There we go. The old choo choo, right? Before we get started, let's go over some safety instructions. Please keep your head, shoulders, knees, and toes inside the train at all times. We'll be going through a live animal habitat, so we want to make sure that we're respectful and safe. The animals might come pretty close to the train, so please just make sure to resist all temptations to give them the scritches. They need to be safe, and we do too. Here we go. Here we go. It's all right. Welcome Lee. to the Cape to Cairo Express. Here at the Brevard Zoo, our mission statement is we share our joy of nature to help wildlife and people thrive. Part of the way you guys are helping wildlife and people thrive, part of the proceeds of your admission ticket, train ticket, and membership go towards our many conservation projects all around the world, as well as locally here in Brevard County. See it landing the track? They're standing on the track up there. This is Chloe. I have blue lips and a blue pack because I ate an icy. Why don't you tell them why we're sitting here? It's we're sitting here in the train. <laughs> um, but there is this um. Whatever animal. It's, like, it's a bongo. A bongo. A bongo in front of the train tracks. So the, the zookeepers are coming to open the gate and to distract them with some food. Bongo removal crew. dromedary camel here at the zoo. There are two different types of camels, dromedary and Bactrian camels. So if we know that the dromedary has one hump, by process of elimination, you would be able to know that Bactrian camels are the ones with two humps on their back. 
And I'm sure you guys are sick of looking at the bongos, but we have one more on your right hand side across the river. Now we have the second type of antelope. You guys saw, you guys got well acquainted with our first type of antelope, the bongos. The second type of antelope are the scimitar, horned oryx. We also have some grubby zebra munching on some hay. The grubby zebra are the largest body zebra in the zebra family. I said, I can do this, watch me. He must really like a good pecan, but he's working awful hard on it. Man, these are some ugly vultures. Look at that. Oh my goodness. And there's a hawk right over yonder. Where's the hawk? Right there, to your left. Right there. Not your standard duty hawk. Yeah. All right, there is a Baird's Tapir. You think I know that? No, I'm reading the daggum signs. That's what I'm doing. But then over here, Capybara. There they are. Look at that. Capybara. That's right. Bingo. no more than we do. <laughs> okay, here we go. You ready? Yes, ma'am, ready. Right, here we go. Alright, well, watch this. See, you don't have to have them on you, look. your favorite way of doing things? Oh, look, you got a new pet. Look, I got friends. <laughs> I have to pay them, but they're my friends now. <laughs> Is it fun, Chloe? I don't want to go in You have to go the other way, so just walk fastly. Oh, I know. Okay. Oh, they're going to fight over your cup. It. You can walk a little bit if it's, you want. Is one is one on my head? No. Tell me if one's on any part of, of my body than my um okay. Drinking it all. Is he done? Yeah, he's done. I came in here when I was little too, and I got real scared. Uh huh. And now it's one of my favorite places to come to the zoo. Do you hear him? I got real scared too. They're so sweet. They sometimes try to steal my bracelets, though. They're kind of oh funny. yeah, anything shiny. <laughs> What did he do? He tried to get my bracelet. Well, they like jewelry, honey. Can you hold my bracelet? 
Ja. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, sweetie. <laughs> Come on. Here, buddy. Come here. Oh. Okay, they're looking at two parrots in the box, blue and orange. These are green and red. In the box up there is a red one, and here's another red one. So obviously it's three pairs. Yes, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Hey, geez. There you go. Interesting. These are uh, red ruffed lemurs. And they're sitting there giving each other a bath. Gotta love it. Absolutely gotta love it. Look away.